a file search. Earlier uh, today, I did another 1000x lab dealing with web search and also the conversation state. Because uh, responses API can actually manage the conversation automatically in the AP, in the back end in the in the API, but you can choose to manually manage it as well. So we are going to uh, create a file search application. Uh, we will we will also give it the conversation state documentation because it needs to know this because the model just doesn't know anything about this new responses API. Uh, we'll try to get that working. So for file search, uh, essentially you can, you need to create a vector store for this. Uh, the API handles this uh, via the storage. Uh, However, you can also do this uh, with code. There's not an example here, but uh, if you've dealt with assistance API, it's the exact same thing, like file inputs. Uh, yeah, so you can actually create files and assign them to vector store via, via uh, the API, via the code. Uh, this may be useful if you're building a, uh, some kind of web application where people can upload or you can upload uh, documents on the fly, but you can actually manage and create files and vector stores directly from your dashboard. You go to your dashboard and click on storage, which is what we're going to do. Uh, but let's first create some files, like some text files. Let's say one.txt and then let's do two.txt. And for this, we'll we'll use analytical engine Wikipedia article. I'm just going to copy it. Okay. Uh, let's let's make this the one, and the second one can be I don't know Richard Feynman Wikipedia. Uh, let's just copy this. Uh, this can be anything really, uh, just to demonstrate. All right, so we have these two files. And in storage, we can create a new vector store. Let's call this test. Files attached. Uh, so this is going to have an ID. This is what we're going to use. You can set an expiration policy. Let's actually send it. Days since last active. So if you say here three days since last active, if you don't use this vector store in three days, this will automatically expire just like it happened here. Okay, this is good because you're actually paying for the storage. It's very cheap unless you have a lot of documents. Okay, so we have Untitled vector store. It says let's accept this. So this is now called test, although it, this hasn't updated. We just need to add files to it. Click on upload and as an xlab. We're going to upload these two files and attach them. Uh, has an, I don't know, maybe it doesn't, up, oh yeah, one, one.txt and two.txt are attached. Let's refresh this. Okay, yeah, it up, the name of it is updated. So now we have this vector store. We're going to use this ID. So now let's come here, create a new composer. And uh, we are going to copy this documentation, the file search. Retrieval customization. You can actually customize how many uh, results you want to retrieve. This is the K value when you're doing rack, right? So when when file search tool is enabled, then uh, you know it's going to retrieve certain amount of chunks. 
Uh, I'm not sure what the default value is, but you can actually set a uh, mixed number of results. Okay, let's, like I said, let's we can actually copy the page. OpenAI just introduced this, so let's come here and paste it. Also, let's go to conversation state. And we're going to use, so we're not going to manage the conversation state manually, but uh, we're going to let, we're just going to copy this part where OpenAI manages it for us. And here, let's say conversation state management and paste this. And then let's say here, Please create a new script which uses the file search tool. Let's put a dot and say this is a this is a new feature in OpenAI API that was just released today, uh, which you don't know about. So therefore, stay true to the documentation and implement it from your observation of the documentation that you're given. Do a dot and then please create a, a chat application uh, which uses takes user input via the terminal with the file search tool enabled. Let's say that and we also need our vector store ID. Copy that. And here we can say vector store ID is, and let's run this. So it's very important to really drive home the message to the model that this is a new feature uh, that it needs to stick to the documentation. Otherwise, it's just going to uh, make error. So false file search demo. Here's our vector store ID. Okay, this, uh, chat application. Okay. It's, it's going step by step. Oh, file search demo and file search chat. All right. Uh, it also is overriding the readme. Okay. Let's accept these both files. Uh, file search demo. What, what is deep search? Uh, we don't want to ask this because that's not related to our. Uh, let's pick pick something. Rogers Commission. Okay, let's say. Let's take this, and who played. A uh, big role in Presidential Rogers Commission. So this is the file search demo. Let's see what happens. Oh, queries. So it actually create recreated queries. Oh, citation. See, it cited the second file twice, which which is the Richard Feynman file. And here's our answer. Key figure in which investigated was Richard Feynman. Yeah, so this all worked. Uh, file search ID. Uh, yeah, that's good. This actually worked. Uh, let's test out the file search chat. Let's just say hi. Okay, good. Uh, so when we just said hi, it didn't perform any file search, but let's say, uh, what was the year? 1986. Uh, what happened in 1986?
okay, it's cited to that TXT, the space shuttle challenge, because Richard Feynman was on the board investigating the the failure, why why this failed. Okay, so it was it was adequately able to uh, retrieve and answer our question. So this is great. So we were able to create, uh, you know, some useful scripts around file search, which should be useful for you to build around. Uh, we we have the mixed number of results too, also, and also a chat with that. And computer use is a single task and continuous tasks. Uh, there's a question. I wonder if it's smart enough to not use the data for something it thinks it knows. Is it what's the capital of France? Yeah, let's test it. I think uh, it won't. Uh, what is the capital of France? Yeah, it just answers. Um, like who was Feynman? I think there's some understanding of, see, it's now searching. It has some understanding of the files that it's being presented in the background. Uh, yeah. And anytime you ask something that is related to the documents, I think it'll answer. Like, let's say, what is a computer? Because an analytical engine was one of the first original computers. So when we ask, what is a computer? Normally, it should just answer. But right now, it's performing search. Yeah, because uh, somehow it knows that these these files, uh, the fact that the first file is computer related and the second file is about Richard Feynman. So that's interesting, actually. That's a good question. Uh, because it should just answer uh, what is a computer just right away, but although it referred to the first file because uh, it has some understanding that it's related to computers and it wants to refer to it. But if you ask what is a DNA, I'm curious if it's going to... Hmm. It still referred to uh, the second text. Uh, what are... What are the basic principles of the economy? Hmm. I think it's still performing file search. Maybe, uh, yeah, that, so, okay, no, it didn't. See, no, it did not perform, it's just the answer was long. Okay, so it's some, it's smart like that, uh, although I guess it fails sometimes. I suppose DNA might be related to physics, and Richard Feynman's life was about physics. There could be some things here about uh, biology, quite possibly. Let's search if there's any DNA here or biology. But it's physics, and biology is physics, so maybe that's why. Uh, so there you have it. If you actually read through the documentation, you can actually uh, set up metadata. Uh, if, you, if you go to file search, you can set up metadata uh, and and also filter via like type, key, key value, stuff like that. Meaning, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, you can filter the search results based on the metadata of the file. Uh, there's a retrieval guide, I suppose. Attribute filtering helps narrow down results by applying criteria such as restricting searches to a specific date range. You can define and combine criteria in attribute filter. So maybe this is uh, important to read. I'll, we'll, we'll dive deeper into this, I suppose. Uh, so if I were to take a guess, this actually allows you to filter the, like, imagine 
in this case, we only have two files in the vector, vector store, but what if we had 100 or 1,000? Then in that case, the metadata, metadata filtering will be a pre preliminary filtering, and then the RAG will be, retrieval will be performed over the filtered documents, uh, such as, for example, date range would be useful in that case. File names might be useful. Uh, you can also have complex filtering. Yeah, it's, it's under retrieval in documentation. So take a look at that. Uh, well, maybe we'll dive deeper into it uh, another, another time. But this is pretty much all I wanted to talk about. Uh, thank you for being here. I hope you found it useful. It's happened, but how do I do it? I mean, fast with AI. I heard about it. It's easy. So um, I came across 1000X cursor course. And that's great, you know, it just made everything super silky smooth. It just it just worked. I'm I'm telling you. Uh, Thousand X your coding.